Hello Pisces, here we go for your weekly read, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, Pisces. Um, it is a general read, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Cards have been shuffled. Present position, present expectation, unexpected, short-term future, long-term future. And on the bottom, wow we. Which one am I reading for? Pisces. Wow, wish it was Pisces this week. This is the best read so far. I've not done many, so, you know, we could get better, but I doubt it. Um, fantastic, really fantastic energy. Don't know what you've been doing, Pisces, but you've been doing it well. First of all, you've got the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck, which kind of informs the theme of the read. Ace of Wands about doing something with real passion and enthusiasm. Of course, why wouldn't you? But, you know, that enthusiasm counts for so much. It's a real, this is what I want to do. This is the endeavour. This is, it could be a new project, could be a new partner, could be... I don't know, moving in together and decorating a room, you know, but there's that really roll your sleeves up and really wanting to do it. And by doing that, you kind of drag people along with your enthusiasm and your energy. And that's doubled down on here. Um, the Page of Cups, I call it the open-armed wonder. She's she's the sort of person at a party where people go, hello, there's three strangers over there. And she just bounces over to say hello to them. Or in fact, they bounce over to her you know, and introduce themselves and 10 minutes later they're all best mates and wondering when they're going on holiday together. And it's it's a card of, um, you know, when, when puppies or children see rain or snow for the first time and they can hardly contain their excitement or, you know, when granddad's coming up the path and the toddler's just jumping up and down, he's like vibrating with happiness, you know, that's what this is. You're vibrating with happiness at the moment and quite right too because you've got the emperor card here. The Emperor is the amalgamation of all, all four king energies. So he's, he's, you know, he tells it like he's is. He's been there. He's done that. He's emotionally stable and secure. He's enthusiastic. He's driven. You know, he's commanding. He's inspiring. You know, it's a fantastic energy. It's, it's about being very logical and very ordered. You know, kind of person that you go on holiday and you go, I've forgotten what whatever it is you've forgotten. I've forgotten a lock. I've forgotten my traveller's checks. I've forgotten some water. And he just goes, got it, got it, got it. It's just there. Nailed it. What's unexpected, and you'd expect this to be unexpected, Ten of Swords is the um, just absolutely the end of something. No question about it. Could be you just finished reading a book or an audio book, or could be your job's over. Could be the job, the project you're on at work has just finished. It seems a bit more than that. It's quite a big deal. So I often think of it as it's not you're not going from chapter seven to chapter eight, you're finishing the book. You're not going from a normal day at work. It's a big day, something big has happened, you know. Um nothing you can do about it, by the way, good or bad. In a traditional ride awake deck, it's the king lying in the ground with ten swords in his back. He's not getting up from that, it is game over. Um doesn't mean anyone's dead, by the way, but it's very definitely the end of something. But as on this card here, the sun will rise again and, you know, a new day dawns and off we go and we move onwards and upwards. Tara is about cycles and balance. Then, as you know, the sun card, very best card in the deck. You get this card, you can just stop the reading pretty much. Where it lands may impact it a little bit, but to be honest, it just lifts the whole reading. She dances around wherever her feet touch, sunflowers burst into life. It's confident, radiating, warming um yeah just just that super kind of confidence um embracing your inner child going on the adventure being attractive you know being positive it's just great it's the best card in the deck really nice to see that and then your long-term future in a weekly read long term could be you know seven days to two three weeks maybe this is the pioneering card i love it on this particular deck as well everyone's around planet earth all these bees and you're up there, you've gone somewhere else, you're ahead of the game. You, you know, very definitely the word pioneering springs to mind here. You're already, you're getting your ducks in a row, basically. You go, right, I've set this up, this is what I want to do, this is how I want my life to pan out, and this is how I'm going to do it. There's a lot of enthusiasm and order and, and process in place. And I think you're really giddy with excitement. I think it's just moving along so nicely at the moment. Best read so far, um, Pisces, so really nice to see that. Let's have a look. King of Cups could be a knight in shining armour. So if you're thinking about love or you're in a relationship or want to be in a relationship, that's really good. Um, chivalrous, you know, it's 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 one of those we, we don't attach gender to the cards, but you know, it is someone who is 
whereas the heart on the sleeve is very loving, is very caring, very chivalrous. It is a knight in shining armour. doesn't have to be male, but it's definitely knight in shining armour is there. Uh, on top of the emperor, there's a big change coming, which is good because the emperor's prepared for that. It does talk about... Um, you you don't know that the change is coming. It's quite cathartic. And I think sometimes people look back on stuff and go, yeah, I should have seen that coming, shouldn't I? You know, work was great. And then they took on two new people or something, you know, or my relationship was great. And then my partner started staying out late, you know, and those kind of things are the tower comes in. Nothing you can do about it. it it's a real cathartic moment. The lightning strikes the tower and it's only then you realise you haven't got a door. So you can't get out of this folly that you've made. You've been living this this uh, untested life. Yeah, that's what it is. So it's, you've been tested. Uh, and don't worry about it, because what happens is the tower crumbles to the ground. They survive. You know, nobody dies. They survive the tower. And then using that foundation, they rebuild. So it could be that you and your partner decide to make a fist of it and start again. Or you go, well, that didn't work out, but it never was. And you move on to something else or a job. You know, is it satisfying, fulfilling? If not, why are you still there? The tower is the car that makes you go, time to move on. King of Cups, yeah, very nice energy. You can see the turbulent waters there, and he's he's kind of quite happy to be sat on top of it and dip his toes into it. There are major events. There's a whale about to crash through the waves there. There's a boat in the background that can come over and take him away if he wants, but he's very calm, very collected. He's like, it's literally a lighthouse in the storm. You know, if you look at lighthouse and some days the water is like glass and it's like the lighthouse is there. The following day there's the worst storm that people can remember in, in living history and the lighthouse is still there. That's what he does. He doesn't change. He's like, that was a good day, that was a bad day. Completely and utterly in control. On top of the sun card, there is, mm, after this tower card, there's a feeling that you're going to be moving to somewhere else. Could be literally a move. I'm, I'm not really seeing that because there's not a lot of movement elsewhere. But these turbulent waters here, so you're moving away from turbulent times into calmer waters, is a very literal card in the Rider Waite deck. This person is normally not attached to the, the mother and child. And again, I don't know there's a woman in there. Um, but you're taking your baggage with you. You know, it's very important that the swords are in the boat. You're not leaving them behind. So the easy way to talk about this is say you've got some personal debt that you know it's getting a bit too much you think well i'll move to a small house and then my rent will be less and i'll have more money for this but which is great and that's what you should be doing well no you shouldn't be doing anything i say but you know that's a good idea but you just got to remember the debt is still there if you went there and said oh god i've got an extra 200 pound 200 dollars a month i'm going to go out and party with it then your debt's not going to go away you know, and it, it could be baggage. It could be you're still holding on to your ex-partner um, and you go, well, I'll move to another town, another city, but you're still thinking of your ex-partner. Only when you stop thinking about your ex-partner, it wouldn't matter if they live next door to you. You know, you'd be like, well, I'm over that person now. I can move on. So it's very definitely a card of time to move on because where you are now doesn't serve you. And the result of that is you go from the two of um, wands, which is the pioneering card, to the four of wands and there's there's um two words that are attached to this card freedom and celebration so i don't think i put it any simpler than that i think if you um if you carry on living your enthusiastic authentic life the way you are doing when these big moments come in this big change this big tower moment yeah you still see the sun you still see the joy in life and joy in the process joy in the relationship and you you're you're ahead of the game Pisces you're basically so far ahead of everyone else that they're, they're going to look up one day and go how did that person get to the finish line freedom and celebration here we go so you're in for a great week uh, could be a little bit turbulent but just remember I would say passion and enthusiasm will out have a great week and I'll see you next time for more of the same